Hey there, welcome back. I am so glad that you joined me today. If you're a new artist and you're looking for a way to start to build your studio space and how do you begin, where do you start, or maybe you're, you know, a, an artist of a few years, but you're looking for some ideas on how to build out your studio. Well, I'm still on my journey and I'd like to share what I've learned so far. So stick around. <laughs> Okay, well, I started painting uh, f about four years ago, watercolor painting, and when I first started, I uh, I just had a few supplies and and uh, had no place to do it other than my dining room table, and uh, my wife wasn't so keen about me leaving all my stuff out all the time, so I uh, purchased, I, I, I researched and purchased a Gorilla Painter box, and I had that box that had all my supplies in it and I'll go ahead and, and uh, put a link to a video that I did already reviewing that on a trip in Hawaii. I, I think you'll enjoy it so go ahead and watch that. But I loved my Gorilla Painter Box, still do, um, but I've moved on on how I use that space. But if you're still starting out, the box is great and I'd like to go ahead and show it to you. Again, it's just this beautifully made box with uh, leather and metal accents and just made so well and uh, and it was perfect for me when I was starting out because I could put my palette in there a few brushes uh, the water cups and and again watch that video and I'll show you how I've how I've packed it and it worked great for my kitchen or my dining room table rather because I would just take that box when I was done I'd load it up lock it up and then set it off to the side with uh, with uh, you know stacks of my paper and my my tabletop easel. That's what I was using at that time, and that worked for a, a good while. And then I think stage two sort of happened. I began to develop a lot more art supplies, paints, brushes, you know, all the stuff that artists gather. Right? We just love to gather our our resources. And then, you know, in the dining room, what do I do with all of that? So, let me show you what I did. I think it was pretty great setup and I'd like to share that with you. Okay, here it is. This is a rolling organizer tray system. And I purchased it from uh, the container store. Had to put it together, of course, not a big deal. And you probably could get something similar at Home Depot, Ikea, Target. These are, these are all over the place, but um, this is the one I chose. And it's wonderful because it's got a great uh, smooth surface that I could use uh, on the drawers. The top drawer I put in my um, palettes and paints and all of that. Next drawer, my tubes of watercolors and some brushes and various uh, supplies. Someday I hope to get into acrylics, and so I'm beginning to gather uh, some of that as well. I started with Lino Cut, and so here are a bunch of those supplies. Do that a little bit, but that kind of gave me a tendonitis in my elbow. So right now it's just sort of stored here. And I have a little bit of a love for ink pins. Um, as well fountain pens rather and the ink and supplies for that and then the bottom trays are where I would keep the um, blocks of paper and that temporary setup was wonderful because we had an entry hall closet our house is multiple stories and so I couldn't store all of my supplies in a room upstairs um, I had to you know do it where I was painting and I was painting at the dining room table and so I would just roll that cart out of the entry hall closet and, and do my setup at the dining room table, do my painting, put things away when I was done, and roll it away. Happy wife, happy life as they say, right? And But it was just nice because it kept our home in order. And for many years, that's what I was able to do um, for my indoor painting time. 
Well, you know, things change, you grow. I got a little more serious about my painting. I'm still learning and growing, of course, but I really want to devote some, some real proper time into it. And we've created now this space in a former guest room um, that I'm using as my studio my painting studio, my YouTube studio. Uh, you also see a lot of Starbucks ornaments on the walls and that will show up in other videos where I do uh, a tour of my Starbucks ornament collection. But for today, we're looking at my painting studio. Well, this room, we, as I said, we converted. We got rid of the guest bed and then I got I got to dream and I got to do some things. So let me show you what I've done. All right, so here is my studio space, the converted guest bedroom, and it serves a lot of uses. Here's my YouTube studio area at the desk there with a boom mic and some lights. Uh, my Starbucks ornament collection, which you'll see on other videos, I'll talk about that. But this is the corner that I've dedicated uh, mostly for painting and my art supplies. Of course, I've been able to still use this cart, um, but now in a slightly different way. I mean, obviously I keep stuff organized in it, but I was able to add to that uh, this flat file so that paintings that are completed and notebooks and blocks of paper, you know, then I've got places to store all of that. And since my studio is on the third floor, I. You know, you have to have coffee and tea occasionally. Uh, so I have that up here as well. But what I'm really excited about was creating this painting work area. I got a hold of this easel as a birthday present. Love it. I know that it's designed probably more for oil painters. But because I do so much plein air painting, where you're standing out of doors. Um, this is perfect. It's a standing easel setup and it can um, lay at various angles. In fact, go completely flat if I needed it to. And, uh, and it's just a beautiful piece of furniture. It just looks so nice. But then setting it next to this uh, cart, I can use this tabletop surface just by putting out my palette and some water and then I can just go ahead and paint. And so it's a very functional setup. Over to my left is where my brushes are stored, some water a container, paper towels, watercolor artist magazine. And so it just has turned into a nice studio setup. And of course, because I'm still in a house with carpet, I've put down a waterproof uh, tarp area there. And uh, cause you know, in watercolor, you're gonna spill something and definitely gonna splatter all the time. So this is my current artist space. I suppose someday I may go to another stage, but for now, this is what I've done and I hope that you have liked it. So that's my new setup. It's still pretty compact. I mean, it is a dedicated studio space, but still a shared studio space with collections and YouTube and computer and all of that. But for my painting area, it's a dedicated space. Someday I would love to have uh, a big airy open studio, perhaps if I got into oils and acrylics and you know, big giant canvases. But for now, this is wonderful. And I hope that you'll take some inspiration on the three stages of what you could do. You know, if you're starting out and you've got just a few supplies and a dining room table, that's great, nothing to be ashamed of, but you'll wanna put it away, right? Well, that box was perfect for me because not only did it contain things while I was at the table, but I could take it out and do some plein air painting. Just mount that box to a tripod and I was good to go. Well, then I moved up to having more supplies and I had the cart, still doing dining room table, but more supplies needed a better place to go and the box was too small. So that was stage two. Stage three was actually developing this more dedicated space and I can leave things out. Well, if you've got some different suggestions or things that you've done, would you let me know in the comments? 
And I would really appreciate you subscribing if you like this video and pressing like and, and sharing it with other artists and newbies. You know, we need to stick together. We need to learn from each other. And if we have lots of great comments and interaction uh, in, in the comment section below, uh, I'd love to hear from you, but you could encourage others. I've also got some links to various equipment that I found that I'm using, and I'll do another video someday on um, why I've chosen what, I've, what I have chosen. Uh, but for now, you could look at some of those supplies, not only for my studio setup, but my artist supplies as well. Hey, thank you for being here, and I hope that you just live life to the fullest. God bless you. Bye-bye.